probably prejudicial because of what is happening between these two gangs for the days leading up. Be between these two gangs, except that you have yet to establish that Mr. Drinks was in a rival gang. We you're have, saying you're going to be able to do that? We're going to be able to show that he was at least associating with individuals. The individual barter who he was with the day that he was murdered is a member of YFN. We have other pictures that are going to come out very soon that will come out through Investigator Vivarisa, we believe, that show that after this murder, they did not know who he was initially on day one. You'll never know. You just told me. You're lying! However, very soon, they saw other YFN members reposting him, saying, rest in peace. That is when they learned of his association with YFN and, again, specifically, the individual who is known as Barter is also Christian Johnson. That is the person who was in the car with him. So the state will establish that there was an association, at least with a number of YFN members, given what was posted. All right, in the and, and you're, you, you're not necessarily going to be able, you're not, I don't even hear you saying you're going to be able to. She's lying. <gasps> no, no, you're lying. You're lying. What makes you lie? <laughs> I'm going to play you the whole clip and I'm going to tell you what to look for. I want you to look for one, what would you do in that situation? Two, what is she trying to ultimately convey? And three, do you believe that they killed that person, Shamel drinks in that car? Because if they did, only one thing makes sense. Let's get it started. And you know, the drinks murder is um, three fourteen at around nine thirty p.m. Right? To ten. Ten. Okay. Somewhere. But yes, you're right. Okay. So I mean, I, I understand the relevance to this. Um, you know, I'll let the court know that there was uh, plenty of links sent to Mr. Stillwell and other people immediately after that death, inquiring if he's safe because there was news that someone was killed. And this is all three days later anyway. Okay. And this is the same day that this appears to be the day after their home was shot up? So their home being this is, a lot of pronouns here. A day, a day after Waters Road was uh -huh. shot up and then earlier yeah. in the morning before he was arrested, Your Honor. So okay. we think that- So the Waters Road what time? So Waters Road occurred at 12, 8, approximately 12 a.m. on March 16th. So midnight going from the 15th to the 16th? Yes, Your Honor. So these are about 26 hours later. Okay. And so these are things that he accessed a, over a full day later that deal with the fact that Mr. Drinks. Drinks had been killed. Yes. Over over three days after. Well, you right. Okay. And just that he accessed them. We don't know if it was him looking them up or somebody sending him a link Correct. and him hitting it or whatever. But the fact that okay he searches that for he that particular murders well, in his phone. Well, we, we keep saying search. That's yeah. Are, are are you showing that he searched for like he sat down and typed into Google Fox Five Atlanta drinks. Killing. Or that this website information is in his phone. We believe it's from a search of going. He accessed it. You yes. don't know whether he searched for it or whether somebody sent him a link and said, oh my gosh, look at what just happened. Right. At some point, it opened up on his phone. So whether he searched it himself or someone sent it, it was accessed on his phone. Yes, sure. I'm, I'm going to eject to under 403. Um, and, and the reason is. There's a big difference between, oh, I'm going to go look at this information under the state's theory that I'm the one that committed it, let me find out what is being published about it versus somebody sends me a link, oh my gosh, and who knows whether these people even know each other, but assuming they did, so-and-so got killed. Oh, wow, let me see. You're right, but there's mo I think there is some relevance that there are multiple links to the same shooting, especially after uh -huh. so the there and, and what else is going to come into evidence, Sharon, is there gonna be other posts, I believe it's Mr. Stillwell's post, um, after Mr. McMillan, Mr. Ford um, is murdered, that says we're not going we're not going to be the only ones crying tonight. So the fact that after the murder of Mr. Drinks, that there are any 
searches or any information sent to him about the murder of Mr. Drinks is extremely relevant given that three days later, but if it was like two hours later, it might be extremely relevant. But three days all. later, it might be relevant because relevance is a low standard. But the argument on the other side is it's overly prejudicial. But it's also after their home was sh shot up and after we believe that they, when police went to the house, on when police responded to that location, that, em that very soon after police responded, all of the stuff in that home was gone by the time police did a search warrant on that house on March 17th. So the fact that you are group searching at 2.30 in the morning or this information is being sent to you at 2.30 in the morning is relevant. This is still within only... 2.30 in the morning, three days after Drinks is killed and over a day after the Waters Road home is shot up, right? And that's still information that is relevant and not substantially prejudicial, overly prejudicial, because of what is happening between these two gangs for the days leading up. Uh, be between these two gangs, except that you have yet to establish that Mr. Drinks was in a rival gang. We you're have, saying you're going to be able to do that? We're going to be able to show that he was at least associating with individuals. The individual barter who he was with the day that he was murdered is a member of YFN. We have other pictures that are going to come out very soon, that will come out through Investigator Vivariso, we believe, that show that after this murder, they did not know who he was initially on day one. However, very soon, they saw other YFN members reposting him, saying, rest in peace. That is when they learned of his association with YFN. And, again, specifically, the individual who is known as Barter is also Christian Johnson. That is the person who was in the car with him. So the state will establish that there was an association, at least with a number of YFN members, given what was posted. All right. an and and you're, you're, you're not necessarily going to be able, to, you're not, I don't even hear you saying, you're going to be able to establish that Mr. Stilwell knew that Mr. Drinks was an associate of YFN. They're just, I mean, it's an inference to be made. Is that right? It is an inference okay. because there's a picture that was posted on at least March 12th in which Mr. Shell Keller, Kelvin Watts, reposted a picture with Mr. Drinks, an individual by the name of Jasper Walters, who is a known YFN member, and Shell Kell that has two shells on two shell emojis and two black zipper emojis. And we believe those emojis subliminally. Hmm. You, you're using the word wrong again, but. Okay. okay, like a hidden message. A hidden which is message. Not the same thing as subliminal, but okay. Oh, okay. So that we believe that those two messages were a message that they may have been the ones responsible for the death of McMiller and Ford. So those mm -hmm. Instagram posts, which are relevant, we believe will come in. So to establish that it is relevant that he would be even concerned about this. I, okay. Or that, that, that Accessing a news article does not in any way indicate you are concerned about okay, anything. Concerned. You have accessed a news article. So when you access the news article and it appears multiple times. Okay. And he, and you do not know whether he searched it or whether somebody sent him the link. Is that right? That is true, Your Honor. Okay. But the fact that People are sending the link of that particular murder, and we have calls on the wiretap in which they talk about, I think there's a call with Damikion Garlington in which people ask, why did they shoot up the house? And it was Damikion Garlington says, because their homeboy got killed in Mechanicsville last night. This is what- And, and in that, that, is that the day after Drinks is killed? This is a few days later after Drinks is killed. No, when Garlington says, because Homeboy got killed last night. Oh, excuse me. Yes, that one. But there's some other ones as well. So I think that this is relevant and not substantially prejudicial, given the timeline of what has occurred between really March. The yet to be established timeline. Okay. Yes, Sharon, but that's because we're still putting. And I know you're still putting evidence up. I know. And and my 403 objection isn't just prejudice, it's also confusion to the jury because, and, and I think this is kind of proving my point or my argument in some ways because we, what I'm trying to avoid is we are on a two yard line of getting to the end of this case. And it seems to me that there is a potential that the state is just gonna try to throw a bunch of stuff out there. I think that's what the state's been doing this whole trial. Well, I think we're really, I'm concerned about this with Viv Reader. Like, for instance, when they just talked about the, the post by Shell Cal, there is no evidence that I know of that Shannon has ever seen that post. And, and with this, we, we have no idea as we sit here, and this is why I'm concerned about these Viverito files where it's just kind of a bunch of things thrown in there. We have no idea if it was a link sent, if it was a search. We have no idea of 
any of that. Right. And, I, and the jury will have no idea. And you will have to point that out to them. All right. So Miss Hilton is lying. And I, I told y'all a while ago, I caught on to Miss Hilton a, a while ago. She's one of those people that's in the movies where we get mad at the soldier. And the soldier that gets arrested, that soldier just sits there and he says, Oh, I was just following orders. Yeah, but you burned down a village and you killed a bunch of innocent people. But I was just following orders, Sarge. All right, you can't hold me as a war criminal. I just was following orders. Miss Hilton, do you realize what you just said? You said that they didn't even know Buddy. So if we go back to what they were relaying with Santa Claus, when Sharp was asking them, hey, the interaction with these guys, did it seem to you they had any problems? No. Then you flat out destroyed your own case. You said that nothing them basically, I mean, not nothing, but Shell Kell said RP to Buddy and all that, but then had two, two Ziplocs or two bullets with bags or whatever. Anyways, basically saying we killed your homie and all that crap and everything like that. Right, but you also said that Shannon was on a war path and that he wanted to kill somebody for what happened to his friends. Then they house gets shot up. I think this is what happened. And the midst of this, this YSL, YFN war stuff, Shamel drinks literally, nobody knew who he was. As far as the YSL cats go. And that's how that go. Was he YFN? Probably. Was he associated with YFN? Probably. I don't know who he was to them cats. But what I can say is this. The whole rollout sounds stupid. First you're telling me. That if you seen. Somebody get shot up. Right. And next thing you know. People are sending you articles and everything like that. You mean to tell me. Where was the establishment for the FaceTime calls with all these cats and everything? No. So he didn't look it up the day of. He didn't say, hey, bro, somebody got shot up and all of that crap. Hell nah. He don't do it that time, which means more than likely, he probably thought like everybody else do when a shooting happens and somebody gets sprayed up, that they survive. Because majority of the time, they do. I think Shannon decided to play detective. That's what I believe. I believe 100% he sat up there and was like, bro, why the hell did they just... Spray the house up. And then everybody else start looking like, oh, bro, hold on. This the person, and they probably seen a name or something like that. And he like, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, bro. Time out. They found the name out of the person? When did the, when did the name of Shamel Drinks pop out? What? Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Please don't worry because we searched this as well. So the March 14th stuff that she's talking about, it says this, and this is from 11 Alive. Atlanta police say they found a man shot to death near I-20 on Monday, adding to the count of rising violence on and near highways in the area. On Tuesday, police said there is still an active investigation, but identified the victim as 23-year-old Shamel Drinks. They added that they are working to see if there was any video captured near the scene that might paint a better picture of what happened. So they found out on March 14th, 2022. That's why he searched it like, hey, who the hell are they talking about? So, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I think they played detective. I think that's what ultimately happened. And basically just came out to bite him. Because one thing that keeps on bothering me is the family keep on saying that Shannon had nothing to do with it. That none of them cats, Miles or Marquavius Nichols had anything to do with it. So, bruh, I don't know, man. At the end of the day, it just looked fishy. And Miss Hilton is lying. You said, your, your premise is, is this. These cats right here didn't know who the hell they was. Didn't have problems when they first saw them. But all of a sudden, <coughs> they, they ain't making sense to me. Not at all. They're making zero sense to me. So 
I don't know, man. I could be wrong, but I doubt it highly. If I'm, then I didn't catch it. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but probably had to go back and rewatch it, but I don't feel like doing it. If I'm them, I'm looking at the time when he accessed the freaking links and stuff like that and everything, because he didn't go to 11. So the Fox five one or whatever the hell probably had to name up sooner. So depending on the time too, she, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. But it really, end of the day, it don't matter. That boy didn't murder that man. I don't know who did it. The theories are the theories. There's some good theories out there. But reasonable doubt to me has been established. But <laughs> I don't know, bro. I keep on, I just, I go back and I watch this stuff. And then I, I can't believe half of this shit I hear. And it's like, what are you doing? But y'all let me know your thoughts on this one, man. Share to keep your people aware. Subscribe, turn on bell, stay notified. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. If I put out another YSL video, bro, forgive me. But I just keep seeing stuff. And it just so happens. But <laughs> I'll see.